I'm Dan Gukin, author of these books on Word, and it's time for this week's bonus word tip. <laughs> Line spacing is probably the only way most people think about paragraph formatting. From the typewriter days, the line spacing was set by the carriage return bar. You could have single spacing, double or triple line spacing. The more line spacing, the better you can read a document, though too much spacing is not a good thing. Yet for editing or adding comments on paper, double or triple spacing works well. In Word, line spacing is set on the Home tab in the Paragraph group. The Line Spacing Command button menu lists the popular choices, including Havsies and the Weirdo 1.15, which I'll explain later. For more control, open the Paragraph dialog box. On the Line Spacing menu, you see six items, single, one and a half spacing, double, at least, exactly, and multiple. The curious items here are the last three, though multiple is merely any line spacing greater than one, so triple spacing is multiple at three. No, the weirdos are at least and exactly, each of which has an at option which sets precise line spacing values. The line spacing values are based on the font size in points. The distance is measured between the base lines. In typesetting, the value is called letting, and it's optimally set to 120% of the font size. So for a 10-point font, 12 points of letting is applied to create single-spaced lines. A double-spaced line would have 24 points between base lines. In Word, however, the values are set as they were on a typewriter, as lines, except for that weirdo 1.15 spacing, which is 115%, a wee bit tighter than the traditional 120%, or what we would call 1.2 line spacing. The weirdo options at least and exactly set line spacing in points. At least sets a minimum value, and exactly sets a fixed value. Choose at least when you need a minimum line spacing value that can be increased to make room for text effects. For example, I'll set the line spacing here to at least 12 points, which is the same as the font size. The spacing looks fine, but if I select a word and increase its font size, you see that the line spacing adjusts accordingly. This is how the at least setting works. The exactly option prevents this adjustment from occurring because the line spacing stays the same no matter what else goes on in the paragraph. Now when I enlarge the word, you see the spacing doesn't jiggle around. Now the text doesn't look good, but that's a choice you have to make when setting line spacing. These are Word's paragraph line spacing options. It's not a super neato formatting option, but it's one of the oldest and most important when it comes to readability and presentation. <laughs>